हेलो हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर एमडीई ट्यूटोरियल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट एंड टुडेज वीडियो वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कस्टम डिटेक्शन रूल हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ कस्टम डिटेक्शन रूल इन द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट सो लेट मी स्विच टू द कंसोल सो नाउ वी आर हियर इन द कंसोल इट्स ए माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्री डिफेंडर सिक्योरिटी डॉट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डॉट कॉम सो टू क्रिएट ए कस्टम डिटेक्शन रूल लेट्स गो टू दियर एंड विल सी हाउ मेनी कस्टम डिटेक्शन रूल हैज क्रिएटेड सो दिस रूल आई हैव क्रिएटेड फॉर द टेस्टिंग टू टेस्ट इट वेदर दिस रूल इज वर्किंग और नॉट सो लेट्स टेक एग्जाम्पल हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट इट नाउ सो नाउ हियर फर्स्ट यू हैव टू गो टू दूल क्वेरी एडवांस हंटिंग एंड हियर फर्स्ट यू राइट योर द क्वेरी and uh, test it whether you are pulling the data the sufficient data which you required or, or on the basis you want to create a detection rule so first you should write a kql query and uh, here uh, two three things are there which should be the mandatory uh, your uh, report id should be included and uh, the time stamp so two things are mandatory which should include in your the kql so if you have not uh, write it these uh, these two columns are not there then uh, you can't create a custom detection rule uh, let me show you one example over here so this is a query which can uh, fetch the details about uh, your the uh, device compliance so here is a uh, reporting good not bad or uh, this is such type of data like your uh, temper production is good or not so you can pull such data suppose i want to create a detection rule based on this query so it's throwing me the error like time stamp and the report id both are missing in this report so if we added the report id and the time stamp then uh, i can use this kql query to create a custom report so now let me show you the one query which already i write it uh, that can fulfill the detection rule requirement time stamp and the report id is there so this is a uh, antivirus detection where uh, it will give you the report about the antivirus detection and uh, the count how many times is repeated i filter it out uh, with the it's a three so you can put it here the number of counts how many times uh, this antivirus detection happen for these machines so let's me pull the three Why three? I'm giving it's because if I'm putting the fourth, then uh, I I will not get the data. Okay, so it's not three. Let me put it two. Yes. So now the device count is I have the two, but based on your requirement, you can change the count how many times uh, uh, this uh, uh, this detection is happen uh, by the uh, defender. so once you done with the kql then go to the create detection rule and uh, the window will open here you can give the name what the name you want to give so it's antivirus detection how frequently you want to generate this every 3 hour 12 hour or the 14 hour 24 hour so let's me give the 12 hours give the title i like title so it's a uh, antivirus detection rule now now let's go to the severity so based on your the kql query what would be the severity for this detection so let's set low or the high medium you can selected uh, based on your the requirement the category it will come under the category command and control literal movement malware persistence privilege ransomware suspicious unwanted software so anything based on your the category you can just select so suppose i have selected the impact and uh, then here is like a mitri uh, technology with the technology it used so uh, anything technology based on your the kql it totally depend on the kql you can uh, uh, select your the uh, uh, the techniques what are the techniques it used now the threat analytics report uh, so let's select on the based uh, based on your the kql you have to select this part as well so you should aware all these things 
so i am giving just cv exploit attack and to now give the description so so this is a antivirus detection and the actions you can provide it here or uh, that also uh, that's also based on your the kql <clears throat> so once we done this uh now go to the next and uh impacted entities it would be the devices and uh, here you can uh, put the device name so you will get the device name in the portal now go to the action so action device on the action what you want to take a action if uh, uh, this detection is happen then you can run the active scan or uh, you can isolate the device or you can the collect the investigation package so uh, the actions you can take it uh, uh, based on your the kql again what's the your requirement set it now finally once you done it uh, it's given you the message it will pull the last 30 days data and uh, if uh, that falls under the detection rule then it will take a necessary action so now once you've done all those steps let's go and submit this request then your detection rule will be ready so once it's done you can go here under the custom rules and uh, you can see the status so now here you can see in the antivirus detection this is a title what we have filled this entry the severity is low created uh, the state actions to uh so two actions we have selected so here i was selected run the active scan and now this the evolution has done for this report okay so once we done this uh let's go and check what is the inside okay so here is the all the details of the targeted actions and uh, your the detection details what you have set up if you want to edit it you can go and edit so it will take the two actions the collect the investigation package and it will run the antivirus scan so uh, if you want to run immediately this detection you can go and just click here you can run it uh, the schedule has run or if not then it will run the daily on a specific time so we have set up as a scheduled run every 24 hour if you want to modify the query you can go here and you can modify this query and then again you can update the query uh, based on your the detection if you if you would like to change anything uh, in inside your the query now here is a turn off and the delete option so you can use the turn off if you don't want to use this detection rule anymore you can uh, turn off it or if you want to delete it permanently you can delete it so let's just try to turn off this and let's see okay so now this detection rule is turned off and how it will source uh, we'll see here okay so now here it will be changes like uh, this rule has the turn off status so this rule will not be no longer to run uh, in this your defender for endpoint console so guys uh, uh now after this uh, you can uh, start getting the incidents here and uh, based on your the uh, the query you will be receiving the incidents and uh, then you can start monitoring or working on that so guys uh, thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video